If you want to read a script, but not look like you're reading a script, you need a teleprompter. And if you want to do this with a webcam, I've got the perfect setup for you. I'm using it right now, and hopefully you can't tell that I'm reading. In this video, I'm going to share this setup, and perhaps more importantly, I'm going to share what does not work so you can avoid looking, well, like this. I'm Brighton West and I help professional coaches use online video to help more people become their best selves. I put together a setup to allow coaches to look their clients in the eyes during coaching calls on Zoom. At the heart of this setup is a teleprompter that you can purchase on Amazon and lots of folks have asked about using it as a teleprompter. So in this video, I'll share how to do just that. And if you're a coach or in a similar profession, I invite you to click subscribe and the little bell icon so you can be informed of future videos. The theory behind teleprompters is that there's a piece of one-way mirror in front of your camera and a monitor that bounces your script or a Zoom call off that mirror, making whatever's on your screen show up directly in front of the camera. I love this setup and I talk more about it in other videos. You can buy all the pieces on Amazon and there will be links in the description over to my website, which goes much more in depth. The teleprompter software I prefer for using on a Mac or PC is QPrompter.com. It's free and it's simple. Let me show you how it works. So this is QPrompter.com and it's very simple. What you'll do is you'll cut and paste your script into this big white window here. So mine is over in, um, in Google Drive. So I'll go here and select the whole thing and copy it just with a control C and then head over here and I will control V paste it. Uh, the other thing I like to do is to put a couple of spaces or a couple of lines, a couple of blank lines at the top, just to make it easier as you start reading for it to be in the middle of the screen, not at the top. So um, once you've got that set, you can choose here a couple of different settings. Uh, and I like to choose narrow and small font, but you'll have to play with it a little bit to see what's right for you. And then click start prompter. It opens up another tab and you can see here that the text is just down the middle of your screen and because of the setup that I have it's mirrored onto the other screen that's in front of my teleprompter um, that's set up on my desk and once again check out those other videos to see exactly how to set up that system. So you've got a number of different choices for speed and once again you'll have to play with it a little bit to see what's right for you and a couple of controls up at the top in terms of uh, getting to the beginning of your script and reverse and forward and stop. But you can use your keyboard to control this just by pushing the space bar. So if you push the space bar, things start moving forward. And if you push the space bar again, they stop. So the key here is to have your keyboard far enough away from your microphone so you don't hear the clicking of the keys as you start and stop your script. Um, that is pretty much it. That's how simple it is. And just read through your script. So generally, if you keep the text that you're reading in kind of the middle of the screen, right in front of the camera, it will look like you are just talking to the camera without reading. And I've got another video, uh, you can check it out up here, that talks about that gives you some tips about how to look natural when reading from a script on camera. So just things like adding a little more liveliness and moving around and uh, making sure that you're familiar with the script, but it's not memorized. So a number of tips, go and check those out. And as to what to use to record your videos, you could just use Zoom. Um, a number of people just use that just as a kind of a set up a Zoom room and they're the only person in recording a video. If you're on a Mac, the software that I like most is called ScreenFlow and uh, that's what I'm using to record this entire video and put together the whole thing. So you can check that out. There'll also be a link down in the description if you're interested in that. You could also put an iPad in the tray. When I do that, I prefer the software PromptSmart because it has voice tracking. Another option you have if you do this often is to buy a foot pedal. That allows you to control it without touching the keyboard so you can use your hands in your videos. But um, there is an option here that's on the qprompter.com website. Uh, and there also are similar options over on Amazon. I can't say for sure that they're compatible, but I can say that they are a lot less expensive over on Amazon. So I promise to tell you what not to do. Don't try to tape your script to your monitor or even on the wall behind your monitor. We are really good at seeing when someone is looking directly at us or just slightly over the shoulder. If you need to read a script, push your chair back a little. It will make your eyes move less. What I recommend if you don't have a teleprompter is to make an outline of what you need to say and put it on your desk. Then look down at your notes, 
periodically. That's natural and authentic. And there's a tricky thing that I've been asked about a number of times. I've never tried this myself, but it seems like a challenging idea. And that is to read a script during a live presentation on Zoom while you're also sharing a PowerPoint. That just seems like too many things to control at one time. You need to switch back and forth between the teleprompter window and the PowerPoint window, and you could end up accidentally advancing your slide deck instead of your script. So my recommendation there would be to just turn off your camera during a PowerPoint and read a paper script. I like to keep things simple. I've got a video on setting up the system and another video on how to use this setup to talk to clients while looking them directly in the eye. Once you have this setup on your desk, you'll use it every day. I'll see you in the next video.